Hello and welcome you all. Dear students, I have already created few videos related to unit number 4 and 5. I will be uploading the uh, things in the description box. Do watch those videos. Now, today's topic is solve numericals on three phase induction motor. This is the topic of unit number 5 from the subject electrical circuits. This is the list of formulae. While solving the numerical, I will explain you the meaning of each and every notation. So, without wasting the time, let us start the session. First numerical is the rotor of 6 pole, 440 holds 50 hertz, 3 phase induction motor. Now, in a layman's language, in case of induction motor, there are two major parts. One is stator and another is rotor. Stator is a static part. Rotor, as the name indicates, it is the rotating part. So, such a three phase induction motor is having six poles. Number of poles is denoted by six. Don't get confused because notations are slightly different in this case. Number of poles is denoted by P. Power is not denoted by P. Rather, some different notations are used. So, P is equals to six. 440 volts, that is the line voltage. It is a three phase voltage, which is 440 volts. 50 hertz is the given value of frequency. So, F is 50 hertz. It is three phase induction motor has power input of 60 kilowatt. Now, in such numericals, since P is the notation used to denote poles, power input, that is power input to the rotor is denoted by P2, which is 60 kilowatt. In the question, clearly it is mentioned for the rotor. So, it is the power input to the rotor. Input power to the rotor is P2, which is 60 kilowatt. So, it is 60 into 10 raised to 3 watts. This is the notation P2 which is used to represent power input of a rotor. The frequency of rotor EMF is denoted by FR. Simple, it is for rotor and it is frequency. So FR is 1.5 hertz. Calculate first part slip. There are ready-made formulae. To calculate slip, slip is denoted by S which is FR upon F. So simple logic, first calculation. S is equals to FR upon F. All the values are known. FR is 1.5 upon F is 50. So answer of slip will be 0.03. This is the answer of first part. Now second part, rotor copper losses. Rotor copper losses is given by the second formula. There are two major types of losses in this system. First is the copper losses and second is the vintage and frictional losses. Presently we are talking about the copper copper losses. So we have two formulae. One is S into P2 and second is Pm into S upon 1 minus S. Pm is not given in the question so I am using first formula because I know both the values value of S and value of P2. So simple PRCU that is rotor copper loss. Since it is a power loss so it is P, R stands for rotor, it is a copper loss, so CU, P, R, C, U. I am using this formula S into P2, so it is S into P2, put the value of S, 0.03 into value of P2 is 60 into 10 raised to 3. So answer will be 1.8 kilowatt, means 1.8 into 10 raised to 3 watts. This is the value of rotor copper losses. Now, this is the value which represents rotor co copper losses for all the three phases. It is a three phase induction motor. So if you want to calculate value that is PRCU per phase, as I mentioned, there are three phases. So this is the total answer of losses, copper losses for all the three phases. So per phase, if you want the value per phase, then this is 1.8 kilowatt divided by three. So answer will be 600 watt per phase. So this represents copper losses of a rotor for each phase which is 600 watt. Now the last part is uh, rotor resistance if motor current per phase is 58 amperes. Now in the exam how do you come to know you need to calculate the value per phase. Very simple in the last part current is given as per phase. So I need everything in terms of per phase for each phase. Now current is given as 58 uh, amperes. This current is the rotor current. So I will denote it by I2. So I2 is 58. Just now we have calculated the rotor copper loss per phase. We have the formula. Rotor copper loss per phase is equal to I2 square into R2. So from this I can write 600 
it is rotor copper loss per phase it is i2 square into r2 which is equals to i2 square into r2 i am supposed to calculate value of r2 so r2 is equals to 600 upon i2 square so it is 600 upon value of i2 is uh, given in the question itself this is the uh, current per phase and it is the rot related to rotor so it is notation is i2 so it is 58 amperes and it's square so if you do this calculation the value of this resistance is 0.178 ohm per phase because we are doing the calculation per phase to get an idea let us solve one more numerical the next problem is Output of 3 phase 415 volt induction motor. Now, while reading the question itself, we have to of writing the given values in terms of notation. So, VL supply voltage is 415 volt. It is 3 phase induction motor running at 2% slip. Slip is denoted by S, it is 2%, that is 0.02. Is 36.775 kilowatt. This is the output power. So, I will write it as P out which is equals to 36.775 kilowatt. Determine all these things are asked rotor speed, slip speed, rotor output, then rotor copper loss, CU means copper loss, third efficiency of the motor, assume four pole motor, so value of P is given as four, with the frequency F is given as 50 hertz. The frictional and windage losses, this is the type of losses, which is frictional and windage losses. So it is, I will denote it by PWFL, frictional and windage losses, which is 1500 watt. And stator loss, stator loss is PS, which is equals to 3 kilowatt. So these are the given values. Now let us do the calculation. I have written all the given uh, things in terms of notation. So first part, we have to calculate rotor speed and uh, slip speed. First, I will be doing calculation of uh, value of rotor speed. So uh, first we will calculate the synchronous speed. So how to calculate synchronous speed? We have formula number four, that is NS. Synchronous speed is given as 120 F upon P. Put the value of F, all these values, so it is 120 into F is 50 upon value of P. P means number of four is, P is number of poles, which is equal to four. So value of NS will be 1500. Since it is speed, its unit is RPM, revolutions per minute. This is the value of synchronous speed. Now, after this, I will calculate the rotor speed. Directly, I cannot calculate the rotor speed because value equation to calculate the rotor speed is nr is 1 minus s into ns for this i need ns so first i have calculated ns that is synchronous speed now the rotor speed is nr which is given by 1 minus s into ns so simply put the values 1 minus 0.02 it is 2 percent given value of slip into ns NS is 1500 which we already calculated so this value is 1470 rpm revolutions per minute so this is the value of NR uh, now we will calculate the value of slip speed very simple slip speed is I will write it over here slip speed is equals to formula number 6 NS minus NR so we have all the values, it is 1500 minus 1470, which is equals to 30 RPM. This is the value of slip speed. So we have calculated rotor speed and slip speed. Next calculate, we have to, next value, we have to calculate rotor output and rotor copper losses. Now, how to calculate rotor output power? This rotor output power is denoted by PM. We have the formula PM is equals to P out, that is output power, plus losses, that is windage and frictional losses. PWFL, windage and frictional losses. So, directly I will be putting the values. So, output power is given in the question. It is 36.775. It is kilowatt. And 
दिस पावर एंड विंडेज लॉसेस आर गिवन इन वैट सो आई विल राइट इट एज टेन रेस टू थ्री बिकॉज इट इज गिवन इन किलो वैट प्लस दिस वैल्यू फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड वैट दैट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ पॉवर लॉस दैट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ लॉसेस ड्यू टू विंडेज एंड फ्रिक्शनल सो दिस एंसर विल बी थर्टी एट पॉइंट टू सेवन फाइव किलो वैट वी नो द रिलेशन वन किलो वैट इज टेन रेस टू थ्री वैट सो वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड अप टू द वैल्यू ऑफ रोटर आउटपुट सो लेट एस डू द नेक्स्ट कैलकुलेशन नाउ द रिमेनिंग पार्ट इज वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द रोटर कॉपर लॉसेस टू कैलकुलेट द रोटर कॉपर लॉसेस लुक एट दिस फॉर्म्यूला देर आर टू फॉर्म्यूले वन इज पी आर सी यू दैट इज रोटर कॉपर लॉसेस इज स्लिप इन टू पी टू and another formula is pm into s upon 1 minus s so we have the value of pm so let us make use of this formula so i will write this rotor copper loss that is p it is actually power loss so pr cu cu stands for copper so it is pm into s upon 1 minus s just now we have calculated the value of pm just put the values so it is 38.275 it is kilowatt so into 10 raised to 3 into value of s 0.02 that is the value of slip into 1 minus 0.02 simplify it i mean solve this using the calculator so the answer will be 0.781 kilowatt this is the value of uh, rotor copper loss third part is i have to calculate the efficiency to calculate the efficiency we need to know the formula of output power output and power input to do this calculation first i will do the calculation of input to the rotor so first i will calculate input power to the rotor that means using this equation formula number 8 input power to the rotor is given as pm plus prcu Keep in mind, we have to calculate efficiency. For calculation of efficiency, I want output power and input power. So, to obtain these values, first I am doing calculation of input to the rotor. That is PM plus PRCU. Put the values. Value of PM is given in the question. We have already calculated. It is three eight thirty eight point two seven five kilowatt plus PRCU. This value just now we have calculated point seven eight one. so the value of uh, this thing p2 will be 39.056 kilowatt p2 is the input power to the rotor it is also known as output of the stator don't get confused output of a stator is connected as input to the rotor so it is one and the same thing now let us calculate input power to the stator what we have done earlier we have calculated input to the rotor or output of stator now we have to calculate input power of the stator very simple input power is we need to consider stator losses also so it is p2 plus stator losses so p in i am using formula number 9 that is input power to the stator is p2 plus stator loss so p2 is 39.056 plus the stator loss is given in the question so it is stator loss of 3 kilowatt so plus 3 so it becomes 42.056 kilowatt this is the value of it now we have to calculate the efficiency efficiency is given by eta is equals to i am using formula number 10 that is p out upon p in into 100 percent now p out is the output power which is given in the question so output power is this is the output power of induction motor it is clearly mentioned output of induction motor is 36.775 kilowatt so it is 36.775 kilowatt into 10 raised to 3 upon input power just now we have calculated input power to cal to get the value of input power we did these two calculations i mean we have calculated p2 and then we calculated pn and then we have to put it in this formula so we have calculated value of input power that is 42.056 again 10 raised to 3 because it is in kilowatt into 100 percent so if you solve this on the calculator answer will be 87.44 percentage
this is the final answer of the efficiency of a motor so this is the way how you can solve the numericals as far as the three phase induction motor is concerned what could be the another possible variation see i have considered only two types of losses copper losses and windage and frictional loss uh, again there may be some other types of losses whatever losses there may be the output power is given by input power minus given losses whatever number of losses this is the only variation otherwise if you know this formula you will be in a position to solve any type of uh, numerical one more simple trick if any numerical is there uh, on three phase induction motor you need to calculate these first four basic parts four or five basic parts these are very much required in all such numericals irrespective of what is asked in the numerical so that's it for today's session uh, dear students i will be providing the links for other videos in the description box do that uh, do watch that video thank you thanks a lot